Good afternoon, Mille Lacs Band community members and employees. This is Pete Nakwanabi. I serve as your Commissioner of Administration. Um, just quick update, we, we've been seeing the concerns and we have been monitoring the, the recent uptick in COVID-19 uh, instances and the variants. So um, the, the band government and us as commissioners are evaluating that. We are taking it serious. We do have a plan in place in case something needs to change. And we are continuing to monitor this and, and making sure that everything is planned out. Um, smooth transition if we do have to turn back the dial a little bit and maybe go to some other you know, actions to, to keep the community safe and our employees safe. Again, that is our number one goal with this COVID stuff and it has been since March of 2020, keeping the community safe and our employees safe and the surrounding areas safe. So with that, I, I would like to turn it over to our Commissioner of Health and Human Services, Nicole Anderson, with a quick uh, update for you so that we keep you all informed of what's going on. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Nakonabi. Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Anderson. I'm the Commissioner of Health and Human Services for the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe. And today I wanted to talk to you all a bit about uh, the latest CDC recommendations. Um, I know there's, as Commissioner Nakonabi has said, there's a few concerns out there. And so we wanted to really make sure that we're communicating with you and that you know that we do have a plan in place and that we're, we're taking all things into consideration. As you know, the Delta variant is making its way around Minnesota. Uh, this morning we were updated that 14 counties are on that list of substantial risk counties. Two of the counties included in that list are Mille Lacs County and Isanti County. And the remainder of the counties will be at the end of the video. The latest recommendations were released yesterday from the CDC regarding masking for vaccinated people. The CDC added information that fully vaccinated people might need to choose to wear their mask regardless of level of transmission, particularly if they have a compromised immune system or at an increased risk for severe disease, or if someone in their household is at an increased risk. There is no current mandate at this time. We are following the CDC recommendations and our health experts here at the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe Health and Human Services. There are currently no new cases in any of the three districts. We will continue to monitor the situation and keep you all updated. Thank you.